So how do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the Nine of Wands. Commitment. Telepathy. Let's look at the message card as well. We're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. The true feelings. With us, there is no end. There's a powerful, powerful telepathic communication between you both. I feel when I saw this card, it makes me think of a really, really dark energy. I don't feel like your person is dark at all. I feel like your person's protecting you from dark energy. And this is their commitment, that soul agreement. You know each other from the higher dimensions here. Telepathy, pure communication of the souls. A picture speaks a thousand words. So I feel like this person, they are, for many of you, communicating uh, through their eyes. Because it says a picture speaks a thousand words. Mind reading in those moments, intimacy, reading each other's feelings, and it's very, very intense. But this person, they feel like dedicated to, um, and this is on a soul level as well, but also for many of you, it's in a 3D conscious way. They are like dedicated to sending you um, this positive energy or just be in this positive energy because your energies um, circulate between you both. Um, and it's very, very uplifting, okay? This is like them being your biggest ally or this this protective energy. This is a shielding energy. It's a wounded warrior energy strength because some of you, you've been through a lot of shadow, a lot of darkness. You may have had to deal with people who have tried to do the opposite or be the opposite of what this person is, the opposite of love. Um, so toxic, abusive, narcissistic kind of energy you've dealt with. This person, they may have stuck up for you. This, this may have been something very significant for you because it's something you've been lacking in your life and this person came along. Um, and they stood up for you or they had this powerful energy this protective energy and yeah you are like opening your heart i feel to this person um in response you know not just to that but in a huge way because of that for some of you this could be the other way around so take it however it resonates they're true feelings for you but yeah there's significance um six of cups this is a soulmate reunion card there's high significance here about what i just said that's that message isn't to be taken lightly you know if you've stuck up for this person um and also showed like genuine concern for this person uh, this is reaching your person touching your person on a deep soul level and yeah they, I feel like they've not experienced that in their past. But you, it's like you've immediately come through and been that energy. And that means the world to your person. How do they feel about you? So I feel like there's some sort of amazing dynamic here in this deck where one of you is like this spiritual teacher. And this could be you, the viewer. Maybe the other way around. Again, take it however it resonates. But you absolutely, if you are this spiritual like teacher, you absolutely love this. Like you are in your element. You are learning from each other, okay? Most definitely with the infinity symbol here and the telepathy. You're both like committed to opening your hearts or being on this healing path, um, embracing the heart, okay? Living from the heart. 
It's like one of you is passing on all of your knowledge to the other and it's really changing. I want to say it's really changing their life. And this is what they really, really appreciate about you. Like, like there's this beautiful exchange of you meeting each other's like deepest needs, like the deepest soul needs that were maybe even beyond what you could comprehend until now. This is about purity and innocence. It's interesting, there could be an age gap between you both. So you may be the older one, or, or again, it could literally just represent one of you is more of like a spiritual teacher. But if there is a physical age gap, and you're the older one. It's like the other one was the, the younger person was watching over you, the old watching over the older person in the higher realms, and being that protective energy. Even then, if if the older one was incarnated and going through struggles, and just watching over in general, because your soul family, this could have strongly contributed to. Um, the soul recognition so you're both like massively helping each other on like the deepest levels so they love you absolutely completely we have the seven of pentacles and the page of cups so seven of pentacles this is about um investment like they're very invested in your connection but this is also um, a feeling of discontentment with how she looks here. Not in your connection, but in life, in the social matrix. You've opened the doorway. Look, Page of Cups is all about the opening heart, imagination, that youthfulness returning. And this is about innocence as well. There's a lot of innocence within your connection. This is one of the main things that you love about each other. And the page and the six cups both represent that in innocence. But um, yeah, this union's really opened the doorway to the imagination. And that imagination is like the fourth dimension, the mental realm. It takes you into the fifth dimension and beyond. There's a message here about feeling frustrated, like your person could feel frustrated somewhat because this connection, there could be like 3D obstacles, but I'm saying that like in quotation marks because um, the physical obstacles are meaning that you're both going inwards to really, really, really deeply experience this union and that's the purpose of of that physical separation but yeah there's some frustration here because this fish is like i'm thinking like the fish is slippery like slipping through your fingers kind of analogy with that um but yeah feeling joyous they feel so uplifted it's really sparked their imagination this is um, a new beginning planting seeds in a new direction Their true feelings. Key to heaven. So this is the key to the heart. The heart is that gateway to experience in heaven, experience in the higher dimensions. The the heart is much more intelligent than the mind. I believe that's even been scientifically proven. But yeah, it's heaven on earth, okay? You've literally met and you remember each other from heaven, the higher realms. And so this has brought it down into both of your conscious awareness. And once you taste of that, you can't go back. And so this, you're forever like um, concentrating, focusing on the heart center, on the heaven, on the union, on the oneness, the truth beyond this plane of duality. Yeah. You hold the key to open their heart in ways beyond either of you ever imagined. You open each other's hearts. And this is like a spiritual awakening. So we could have all had an idea about what having, what having an open heart looked like before. But now you've met, it's like you're really, really understanding that reality is um, reached through the heart. Support, wow. 
yeah this is why you met each other with us there is no end um did i say you take me to the infinite when this came out it says with us there is no end um yeah this is where you remember each other from and so this is why you've met in this lifetime to link you back both back into the infinite into that awareness of it so you could have that huge aha moment the gates of heaven have opened that represents the gates for you to ascend through um you you've become consciously aware of it and it's absolutely incredible support yeah this is what i was picking up on like they really want to support you and this is what really made you fall in love with them or the other way around or both of you <laughs> their true feelings shelter yeah it's the same message you are the shelter the safety for both of your hearts to open this is amazing shelter from the storm shelter from intense toxicity or darkness or shadow that protection that support that understanding that compassion that wanting to know more okay you highly respect each other this is like this makes me think of like a sibling energy and i don't mean like you feel like uh, your siblings because for many of you there is a lot of sexual energy here between you both but you are soul family so there's like that that really really deep bond this is what makes your connection very harmonious how you you know each other so well destined love like you're destined to meet and go through this and <laughs> this is an extremely um unique experience not many people in life will experience what you're going through and i feel like you're both very mature like you both consciously have so much gratitude and you you consciously know to keep um being grateful like thankful it's just you're overflowing with joy and happiness yeah look euphoria joy success harmony high vibration confidence fulfillment satisfaction emanation optimism excitement this is the energy you both feel you both feel so deeply loved and because you're both overflowing with the love then you're sending that energy to the other and it's going round and round and round and it's continuing to uplift you both taking you back home to source energy that central sun you are the light in this person's life and vice versa literally like the guiding light home how do they truly feel? They feel you are the Holy Grail, divine love, heart opening, unity consciousness, beyond duality, meeting the one, overflowing of love, answered prayer. This is such a sacred union. The Holy Grail is like the ultimate love because it's true love. It represents, it's a love that takes you home. It's a love that sets you free in the true sense holy grail it's like that ace of cups overflowing so much peace in their hearts so much joy and it's because you feel so close even if ironically it appears that you're at a physical distance or physical separation or communication is difficult in a 3d all those kinds of things if you look at these connections from a 3d lens then you're going to find all sorts of faults with it but this is a heart-centered connection if you focus on it through the heart then you will reap the rewards of all these incredible gifts and experiences that um this union provides yeah look sacred union twin flame soulmates true love journey back to oneness journey back home infinity divine masculine and feminine your mirrors of each other there's this beautiful balance of the yin and the yang and this is all about you have met in order to transform from you both feeling like you were the ugly duckling and again i always say i don't mean that in terms of physical attractiveness i mean this is as in 
Um, you were very, you, you were your own worst critic and it was really holding you back in life. And you're both helping each other through love, through this mirroring, through this union to have so much more confidence and like gracefully move, glide, flow into your beauty so that you shine out all this light and you're free and you're happy and it's contagious for others to awaken or feel uplifted. This love is truly magical. They absolutely love you and this connection. It's mind blowing. I love you so fucking much. Yeah. They love you, like, completely. And let's get closer. Yeah, they desire to move towards you more and more and deepen this union, like, infinitely. Um, so I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to start off by looking at lots more messages cards. What does your person really want to communicate and say to you right now about their true feelings? What do they really need you to know? And we're also going to look very deeply into what is going to unfold between you both next as well. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, write a comment. That will really help me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.